snakes swimming through the sea to snakes flying through the air. Here are 14 of the strangest snakes in the world. This is Mystery Mondays. Hey, before we start, Emmanuel Garcia writes, I love epic wildlife. It's always so awesome and interesting. Keep up the good work, guys. Well, you know what? We plan on doing just that. So thanks for those kind comments, Emmanuel, and cheers. Number 14, Wolf Snake. This non-venomous critter gets its name from its powerful fangs, which face backwards. It's a new species of wolf snake that was discovered in the Cardamom Mountains of Cambodia. Scientists searched for the reptile for more than a decade, but experts think the snake's unusual coloration likely helped it stay camouflaged in the foliage. Fully grown, they can measure up to 20 inches long, and they use the fangs to bite into the prey, which are usually frogs and lizards. Number 13. Iridescent shield tail. It's thought to be one of the most colorful snakes in the world and is endemic to India. A bright yellow stripe separates the creature's iridescent back and belly. But to date, very little is known about this critter in the wild, and the species is known only from three specimens. Number 12. Horned Desert Viper. They are notable for their bizarre appearance. These snakes have two horns, one over each eye, although not all of these critters possess those horns, and are known to produce a type of rattling sound prior to making a strike. They can grow more than 30 inches long and will hide in the sand, with the horns, eyes, and nose sticking out as they wait for prey, which most often turns out to be lizards and rodents. While they are venomous, the bite usually is not dangerous to humans, and while it is possible the horns are used as a lure, experts still are not exactly sure just what purpose they serve, or why some of the vipers are born without them. Number 11. Elephant Trunk Snake Now these snakes are completely aquatic and are found in Indonesia and Australia. The snakes can suffer serious injury on land, and unlike most snakes, they have no broad scales on the belly enabling them to slither. Taking a look at their skin, you can see how it appears loose and baggy, almost as if their skin is too big for them. The elephantine appearance inspired the name. They can grow more than two meters long and feed on fish and eels. The scales are large and knobby, and that enables them to grip onto the slippery prey as they constrict them underwater. Number 10. Spiny Bush Viper. Because its bristle-like scales can almost appear like feathers, this highly venomous snake is sometimes called the Feathered Tree Viper. They can grow nearly 75 centimeters long and have large eyes that distinguish them. This one is native to Central Africa, and like all vipers, they have long, hinged fangs they use to inject venom. While the makeup of the venom is still largely unknown, experts tell us that it contains neurotoxins and can prove fatal to humans, causing severe hemorrhaging, of internal organs, among other reactions. Number 9. Tiger Keelback. Found primarily in East and Southeast Asia, it's also known as the Japanese water snake. Aside from their tiger-like coloration, these small snakes might appear to be rather unremarkable. It's so shy that until someone actually died from the bite of one of these critters, they were thought to be harmless. But experts have found that they feed on poisonous toads. The snakes are immune to the poison, which they store up in two glands located in the neck. When confronted, the glands release the poison as a way to deter the aggressor. The unique defense mechanism allows the snakes to save their venom for hunting their own prey. Number 8. Leaf Nose Snake. These reptiles are found only in the rainforests of Madagascar, usually around two meters above the ground. They're known for the strange projection or horn on the snout. While all snakes possess them, they differ according to gender. Males have a horn that is sharp and pointed. Females have a serrated horn that is flat and shaped like a leaf. While its purpose is not entirely known, experts say it plays a major role in camouflage. The arboreal creatures will hang straight down from tree branches as they wait for prey which are usually lizards. Number 7. Hognose Snake. Despite the intriguing name, this snake doesn't appear all that unique. Its upturned snout is largely used for digging into the soil, but when the creature detects a threat, it will hiss, then 
flatten out its neck to resemble the hood of a cobra. While they do carry a mild venom, they're not as deadly as a cobra. In fact, they only pretend to strike. It's all part of a bluff strategy, as it will deliver a type of headbutt to an attacker. If that doesn't work, these snakes are known to essentially play dead, even letting the tongue hang out of the mouth and letting loose a foul-smelling fecal odor. They're found from North to South America and in Madagascar. Number 6. Spider-tailed viper. This creature was initially described in 2006. It hails from western Iran and is also known as a horned viper. It has scales that rise above the eyes, giving it a horned appearance, which is not unlike the horned desert viper which we previously mentioned. More remarkably, this critter possesses a tail with a bulb-like end that resembles a spider. The snake waves its appendage as a lure to attract birds when they approach striking range. Those types of birds prey on insects and and arachnids alike. Number 5. Tentacled Snake. This is the only member of its genus and is native to Southeast Asia. The aquatic reptile gets its name from the odd fleshy protuberances found on the snout. Researchers have found that the fleshy shapes serve a mechanosensory function. They detect movements made in the water, enabling the animal to quickly strike as fish pass by. Experts say it takes a mere 15 milliseconds to capture its prey. But in case that's not fast enough, this reptile has another strategy. The snake darts in one direction as the fish darts in the opposite direction, which is basically the idea. The snake anticipates the fish's direction and angles its head to snatch up its meal. Did you know this small critter can stay submerged for up to a half hour without taking a breath? Number 4. Okay, so we found this interesting picture of a young lady confronting a huge serpent, and we're including it because it's just so strange. Now, to be honest, we could not dig up a lot of details regarding this image, unless it's meant to illustrate how to hunt a reticulated python, which is what the snake appears to be. Now, those non-venomous critters are recognized as the world's longest snake and reptile, measuring over 20 feet long and weighing more than 160 pounds on average. They're native to Asia, and like all species of python, they kill by constricting the prey to death. Although fatalities have been documented, they're not generally considered dangerous to humans. Now apparently the lady in the picture feels differently, but what do you think? Number 3. Sea snakes. These venomous snakes inhabit marine environments from the Pacific to the Indian Ocean and belong to the same family as cobras and coral snakes. While they don't have gills and must surface to breathe air, these reptiles are among the most aquatic of all vertebrates that do so. And with around 62 species recognized so far, many feature some amazing abilities, such as being able to use the skin to absorb oxygen from the water. Others, like the yellow-lipped sea crite, exhibit some clever defense fence mechanisms. It has a tail that resembles its own head, which fools potential predators into leaving it alone. And the golden sea snake might be said to see with its tail. It has unique photoreceptors in the skin of the tail that can detect variations in light and possibly detect predators as well. Sea snakes are also known to possess some of the most powerful venom of all snakes. The beaked sea snake is said to carry a venom 10 times stronger than that of a cobra's, and Dubois sea snake is considered one of the world's top three most venomous snakes. Number 2. Flying Snakes now the good news is, these reptiles do not actually have wings, but they can take flight, in a manner of speaking. They are found in Southeast Asia, and are able to push themselves against rough tree bark to climb vertically. Once they arrive at the end of a tree branch, the reptile will thrust itself into the air. The snake pushes out its ribs and sucks in its belly, making its body flat and wide, and creating a pseudo-concave wing. It can then glide through the air as it makes a slithering motion. That motion serves to stabilize them as they glide for distances up to 100 meters or more. Now that's better than flying squirrels that can fly around 60 meters from tree to tree. Now these snakes are venomous, but they are not considered dangerous to humans. They usually prey on smaller animals like lizards. Number 1. 
Barbados thread snake. Did you guess this creature is native to Barbados? Well, the name kind of gives it away, right? Now, this particular species of blind thread snake measures on average around 10 centimeters. That's small enough to fit on a US quarter. Because its eyes are nearly useless, the critter uses its tongue to sense or taste the air around it. Experts think it's likely the smallest size a snake can attain and still manage to survive. This is Mystery Mondays.